you doing today? I'm here at a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade your hard drive or your SSD NVMe drive on your ASUS gaming laptop. This one is an ASUS TUF gaming laptop. It comes with a Ryzen 7 and video card is a GTX 1060. So I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to remove the mechanical hard drive to replace it with an SSD or replace it with a new, bigger mechanical hard drive if you're running out of space. Also, you can upgrade your M.2 slot or if you don't have it, you can add it. So you can have the Windows running on an M.2 SSD drive and you can have your files on a mechanical drive. Sorry about my fingernails. I've been working on my car, so I tried cleaning it up, but I, it's not coming off. So yeah, first thing first, you want to flip your laptop over and you want to remove the screws at the bottom cover. I'm using my iFixit tool set kit. These are really good. The bits on this one, they don't go bad or anything like that. They give you an extension. I'm using a Phillips number zero for the whole process. And I use a magnet right attached to the here. So it's, I don't need to magnetize the tip. So I just use the magnet. So we're going to remove the three screws, four screws that are in front of the laptop. These are the short screws. So, and we need to remove the middle screw, which is right in the middle of the laptop. This is a short screw too. So you don't mismatch these ones. They are the same size. So don't worry about those. Now the two side screws and the Back end row screws, those are the long screws. We're gonna remove these ones. And they are the same height too. So don't worry about mismatching this. So remove these ones too. Uh, once you remove the screws on the bottom cover, all you need to do is to open up your laptop in 45 degree angle. Once you have it in 45 degree angle, you want to grab yourself a guitar pick or an opening tool. Even iFix tool set, they give you an opening tool, but I'd rather use a guitar pick. And you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right in front. And you want to push it inward a little bit like that. And then you want to wiggle it around and you're gonna hear these clicks like that and do the sides same thing on the other side on both sides so there halfway through and on the right side there now you're gonna close it up and you want to grab it from the corners and wiggle it around and lift it up and there we have it. Now we are down on the bottom. Now, first thing first, everybody just starts screaming all the, always, they're like, oh, remove the, remove the battery. You don't need to remove the battery as long as the laptop is off. But in case, if you wanna remove the battery, it's really simple. All you need to do to pull this jack back towards the battery side. And there you go, now you have it disconnected. But again, you do not need to remove the battery if you want to upgrade RAM or hard drive or stuff like that. But for extra caution, you can do it. All right, now down here, we have the mechanical hard drive right here. It's really noticeable. And the M.2 slot is right over here. This one right here, it starts here and finishes right there. There's only one screw holding it up. To remove your M.2 slot, RAM, and you go, hard drive, just remove the screw and it will come in 45 degree angle and just pull it out in 45 degree angle it's straight. Don't pull it out, otherwise you're gonna break the jack. These ones are really cheap ones, Western digital ones because the real Samsung one, they have an extra net chip and they have extra component. They're really long lasting ones. I guess when you buy a low grade one, they give you this one, just pure PCB board. And that's it. This one is not an NV. It is an NVMe SSD. Surprisingly, it's a 256 gig. So if you buy a new NVMe SSD, 
with a one terabyte, you can same thing, put it in 45 degree angle or 35 degree angle. And then once it's all the way in, then you're gonna push it down, make sure the just sits nice and flush right there. Put the screw on it. Again, this tape is not necessary. It's just there so when you look through the gap here, you don't see the hard drive. So you look, see all black. Now on the mechanical drive is right here. There is one screw right here holding the caddy. So remove the screw that holds up the caddy. And there's another one right there. There are two screws. Once you remove these two screws, you can just slide out the hard drive from its place. Anyway, this one is actually a Toshiba drive. To remove it, there is one screw on the caddy on this side and there's another screw on the other side. Go ahead and remove these two screws because you need the caddy to keep the hard drive in place. This caddy supports uh, whatever size of the up to six millimeter thickness drive. No, actually it has three screws. Normally they come with a four, Two on this side and two on the other side but this one doesn't have a screw right here so there's only one screw at the back so but on this side there's actually they have two screws so there's a three screws holding it maybe they forgot to put the screw hole on the other side normally they come with it so this is a one terabyte hard drive and it's a 5200 rpm so if you want to get a 7200 rpm hard drive you can put it here up to four five Five terabyte, it will work fine. Or you can just grab an SSD drive, put an SSD drive right here. If you grab an SSD drive, it's the same way. To know which way it goes in, it's simple. You can see the, let me lift this up. You see this jack right here? This is a SATA port and there's a power cable and uh, power port right there. And here we have the same thing, SATA and the power. So if I put it the other way around, it will not go in. So it must go like that. And the caddy sits this way, so pretty much that's the way it's supposed to go in. So align it in there, put the new hard drive or the same hard drive, the new one, I guess. I'd rather put an SSD drive, it's much faster. I'll put a bigger SSD here so I can install my games or stuff like that so I can access it faster. All right, one more screw. There we go. Now we have the caddy on the hard drive, so possibly on the new one. We're gonna put it in an offset position, align the connectors, and slide it all the way in, and put the two screws for it. So one screw goes on this one by the speaker, and these are really flimsy speakers, but they are pretty loud. Okay. All right. Now we have both the screw in and the new hard drive is in place. And then that two right there. And the last thing is to don't forget to put the battery cable back in. There we go. Battery cable right in place. Now grab the bottom cover, place it on top, press down the back, you hear those clicks on the side and the front end. And the last thing is to put the bottom screws. Remember the long screws goes at the back of the laptop and two on the side. One on this one and one on the other side. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you have any comment or questions, you know where to leave them. And I really appreciate if you guys subscribe. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. And I hope I see you guys in my next videos.
there we go and also if you see this tiny gap open in the front just pinch it and it will just close it 